So welcome back to The Sims 4. <laughs> uh, if you missed the last episode, um, we invited Declan into the household. Declan from the Ace video. Um, I'm going to sneeze, I'm going to sneeze. Hold up. <laughs> yeah. We invited Declan into <laughs> into the household and trapped him in the in the in the hole in the wall um, because we just wanted to kill him. <laughs> he was a prick in the ace, and that's canon to the playthrough, I guess. Um, and I just want to murder a sim for the sake of murdering a sim. I don't know. <laughs> I have no actual reason for it. Um, and we're hopefully going to be moving house this episode as soon as Declan dies. It, he should be off off soon. <laughs> he should be on his way. Uh, we're still waiting for the university reply. And uh, I realised that I can paint large pictures on this thing so much quicker. Like, holy shit. Um, the one that I had finished at the start of the episode, I literally started like two minutes before starting the recording session. It's like, holy fuck. Um, but yeah, I think Josh is out. Josh brought home 270. Josh brings, Josh brings home quite a bit. He's, he's, he's pretty, he's pretty flush. Uh, let's go to bed. Let's go to bed. His hygiene's now going down. His, uh, his hunger is really struggling. Oh, don't pull a face like that. I feel bad for you. Even though you've got evil traits. Why would you, why would you do that? Uh, Josh, where have you gone? Josh has gone straight to the computer, for whatever reason. Do you want to um, do it, do it, do a little thing? Do it, do it, do, it, do it. <laughs> have a have a little dinner. I don't know. Go for a shower or something. Yeah, go for a shower. He wants to have a shower. You go for a shower and then go to bed and sleep through the night. Um, I think uh, who's got? Has anybody got any days off? No, uh, Cody's not got a day off. Uh, I mean, Josh. Oh, Cody has got a day off. Josh hasn't got the day off. What has Archie got? No. <laughs> Archie also does not have the day off. So yeah, last episode, uh, I upgraded the easel because I just realised that um, I had like an upgraded version in my inventory, um, and also we had this in the household inventory because of the the stuff we'd made through the progress on the on the job. Um, and we can duplicate these, which is really, really cool. And we also applied for university, which I'm waiting for the reply for. Uh, maybe I can actually check the reply on this next day. I would like to maybe go out of the out of the apartment to one of those, like, canvas things. What? What is going on here? What? Uh, hmm? What is happening here? Sir? I, uh, sir? What is going on? Oh, he's vanished. He's gone inside here. Okay. Oh, is this one of those? No? Like, one of these... One of these things. But, like, not there. <laughs> I think you can find them on, like, sidewalks and stuff, but I'm just not sure where. It's, like, 11pm and there's so many people out. This is insane. There's so many people. What is this? Look for snow globes. Why would I want to look for snow globes? Do snow globes give you give you something specific? See, there's like... There's graffiti panels that you can buy. Oh my god, that's a house that you can buy. I've only just realised. I hate that house. <laughs> I think that looks ugly as fuck. I might have to renovate that off camera. Place a new version down. I don't like that. Oh, there we go. There's one here. So, like, it's just a public art display that you can, like, you can remove and paint over yourself and then other... I think other sims can also remove it and paint over it and stuff. And I kind of like that. So we might we might do one of those. I've lost the apartment. Oh, there we go. <laughs> we might do one of those at some point. His bladder. Holy shit. Like, I guess, to be fair, he's, he hasn't been drinking or anything in there, so he wouldn't really need to go to the toilet, perhaps. I don't know if that is right. <laughs> I don't know if that's how things work. But he's really exhausted and grungy. And hungry. I'm surprised that he's not gone yet, I'll be entirely honest. Like, he's holding on. I thought he'd be gone by now. 
it's taking a lot <laughs> to finish him off. But as soon as Cody gets up, um, we'll go ahead and check the university application and get him sorted out for the day. And then maybe go down to that um, graffiti thing. And have a bit of a mess around with that. Um, I, I might make Sims episodes a little bit more often. I don't know where I kind of stand with the Sinking City. I don't know like how far into it I am and stuff. At the time of recording, I may have already completed it by the time this episode goes out, to be fair. Because I don't know if I'm going to start uploading The Sims after The Sinking City or blah 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 blah. Uh, there's also renovation videos going out as well. Um, at the time of... I don't, I don't like talking about what I've already recorded because then it puts like a bit of a timestamp on the video and pulls people out. Um, but I have already uploaded at least one renovation video and I've got another one in the works. Um... And I really enjoy doing them, and I hope that they go down well with people and people enjoy them. Uh, otherwise, <laughs> it'll be like a lot of time wasted, but it's like a, a different format of something, and I get to kind of um, practice a different style and stuff of video, which is quite fun. Because I've never done like time-lapse let's build kind of things that aren't on Minecraft. And even on there, like I have to do it block by block in real time. There's no way for me to kind of time lapse it, whereas with Sims, because there is only the build mode to do it in, and that's how everybody else does it in, I kind of feel like I fit in a little bit more when I do it, um, and that's quite fun. And plus, it, it helps me just get better at building. <laughs> I think I'm doing an okay job so far. I'm quite proud of how quickly I'm picking things up. Um, it just takes a bit of time to get into, I guess. Oh, Declan. Uh, surely he's only got like one more day left in him. He's been in there now for two days. Or a day and a half. Look at him. He absolutely stinks. I'm really, really surprised that he's holding on. Um, Maybe I should give it a Google. And actually find out like what it takes to fucking kill Sims. While uh, Cody has a shower. Because <laughs> he, he also fucking sink, uh, sinks. Sinks. He sinks, apparently. Uh, so, The Sims 4. What? Uh, wait. How to kill a Sim. Let's have a look. I wouldn't usually... Like, I'm trying to cut down on doing stuff like this in the... Oh my god, you can burn your Sims alive. <laughs> I'm trying to cut down on doing like Google searches and stuff mid video because I realize that it kind of again takes you out and like distracts you and stuff But I feel like this is also kind of important information for people that don't really know so Yeah, it says here it seems are much harder to kill in the Sims 4 <laughs> um, So let's have a look killing Sims isn't as simple as walking up to some zombie and shooting it in the face though uh, learn your sims weaknesses, then exploit them. Oh my god. Seven are natural causes and three come from the game's newfangled emotions. Uh, so you can burn alive. Uh, proper fire going. That's just, oh god, yeah, we'd have to get a... We'd have to get an actual fire on the go, and then that's really risky. Uh, a house's fireplace. <laughs> Send them on a botched space expedition, that seems like a lot. Electrocute them twice. Uh, starve them. Ah ha ha ha. What, what does it say here? It also requires unlearning some of the basic principles of playing The Sims in a properly tidy dollhouse sort of way. Alleviating hunger is one of the first things. Uh, okay, to properly starve a Sim to death, you have to gate them off in such a way that they have no, no way to access food. Okay, well, we've done that. Uh, yeah, it says here you literally just have to wait. Look at- wait, hold up. Look at Josh's thighs, real quick. What the fuck? So I downloaded this sim, because it was based off of, like I've said before, like, a lot of my sims are based off of celebrities, or just people of influence that I find attractive. <laughs> And his fucking legs are insane in this game. I don't understand how they're that toned. That's so weird. Um, push them over the edge with too much physical activity. Oh! 
Oh my god, that means that, like, I almost... Oh. Oh. So, you can kill somebody by woohooing. Um... What does it say here? EA wasn't kidding when they said that emotions can kill you. Uh, there are three different mood groups that can prove deadly for Sims. Embarrassment, anger, or hysteria. You have to keep them at a high level of that emotion. That's insane. I don't understand, like, how anybody would do that. That's, like, some real consistency. Okay. Um... Let's go outside. I want to mess around with this mural. M mural? Mural? This, uh, what is it? I don't know what it is. I just want to mess around with it. How do I go back to him? There we go. Um. Oh, my flirtation's gone down a little bit with Archie, unless it was never fully up. I don't know, but I think he's going to work pretty soon. <laughs> the thing that I really like about the city living in the apartments is... Um, you can just go out onto the street, which is really, really cool. I really like that this is a thing. So it's kind of like you've got an apartment in a much smaller, like you've got a small apartment in a much larger area. And I really like that. And the one that I'm looking to move to, hopefully in this episode, the Zen View one, has a pretty big open area that you can go out and explore, which is quite nice. This motherfucker. Go away. What the fuck? I want to fucking do it. These motherfuckers. I just cleaned it off. I literally, I was here two seconds. I've already forgotten <laughs> what the fuck I clicked on to do. What am I doing? Oh, I'm just painting it. Just generally painting it. Go away, Jeffrey. Fucking Jeffrey. Hello. Who are you? Have we met? What's your name? Aaron. I think we've met. I think he's one of the neighbours. He could be one of the neighbours. Something's happened. Something has happened. I do not want to chat with people. <laughs> I repeat, I do not want to chat with people. <laughs> So apparently there's like also physical exert physical exertion is that a thing but like you can push your sim over the limit by just having them work out constantly um especially with like an elder sim which is pretty wild can we fucking clean up please could we please clean the fuck up what is this what is this food here they look like tacos they are tacos can we put those away <laughs> There's just such a fucking mess in the apartment. This is why I want a bigger apartment because like Everything at the moment. I really like closed down cluttered apartments But everything is like a pain in the ass to get to because it's like so close together and stuff There's no room to breathe No room to breathe How long's he got left in him? Come on man. His socials going down which is not understandable because he's still got his phone. <laughs> Are you going to finish this? This is taking me forever because of this fucking... Go away. I'm trying to finish my thing. Is this getting my skill up as well? I think it is. What's this? Feeling insecure because Archie's not here. That's fine. This motherfucker. This invisible bitch. Who are you? Oh, level 8 of the painting skill. We're almost at 10. Who the fuck are you, Ed? Ed? Piss off, Ed. You get the fuck out of here. What the fuck? Go away. Leave me alone, I'm painting my thing. So we're almost maxed out on the painting skill, which is pretty good. Oh, you just walk all over my thing, that's nice. Someone's ringing Declan. <laughs> Uh, let's go to GeekCon and work on our programming. Yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah, I'll just be straight over. Oh my god, his hunger's gone down into like the final stage. We're watching a sim die in, uh, <laughs> in slow motion. <laughs> in real time. Real time death. Let's have a look at this. It's really hot out, apparently. 
Maybe we should change outfit. Oh god, I don't want to stop painting this though. Oh, it doesn't look very good. I'll be honest, it does not look good, Cody. This is looking a bit... The hair looks fine, but... The fa I'm on about, um... <laughs> I'm on about the, mur the mural, not the woman. Hello, madam. Who are you? Katrina Caliente. That's nice. Ed has morphed into me. Good to know. Josh has learned the following traits about Raj. Who's Raj? Where do we get a Raj from? Josh, what are you doing up here? Who are you meeting? <laughs> Fucking all sorts happening. Madam! Could you please go away? I just want to finish my fucking mural. Oh, what's happened to it? Is it meant to be like this? Oh, I think it's meant to be like this. Oh, I panicked and I thought somebody had started painting something else and it like glitched out a bit. Holy shit. Uh, what if... Because Josh has hit the higher level, so he's on like... He's got three hours. If we put that in our inventory... Can we go down and busk before he goes to work? Josh, hurry up. Holy shit, it's fucking 2pm. Hurry up. Okay. And then we go... Oh, my days. Madam, could you please let me have a go? Please. Maybe we can distract her. Uh, more choices. Can we, like... Can we ask her to stop? Or if maybe if we introduce ourselves to her, uh, it'll cancel her action <laughs> so that we can then... Oh, there it actually is. It actually is. Busk. Fuck you. I don't want to use your... F I don't want to introduce myself. I just want to busk. I'll give busking a go. Maybe we can earn some tips. I think Josh has changed into his summer outfit too. Which is always cool. I would kind of wish Cody had, but... Okay, here we go, here we go. Hit him with it. Oh dear. This isn't good. Let's just... <laughs> Let's just go back over to Cody. <laughs> Let's just pretend that Josh isn't there. Oh dear. This motherfucker, I'm gonna kick the shit out of you, Ed. I don't care if you're a few years younger than me, I will fucking kill you. <laughs> this is a murder, Ed. I don't know if this is working, Josh. The only person watching is this moving statue. <laughs> Who is here, like, 24-7. This woman never leaves. Okay, is it done? Oh, I'm overheating. I'm overheating. Uh, change outfit. Uh, which one's the summer slot? That one looks like party. Okay, that one's summer. We can finish the mural after. Change into your clothing, into your summer. There we go. Hopefully you should cool down a little bit. Is somebody gonna watch? Yeah! We got some people watching. Things are going well as Declan just deteriorates back at home. <laughs> so ridiculous. Oh, this woman is inches away from him. It's so sad. I swear to God, Ed. Oh, I can deface my own thing. Let's gather some inspiration from it and then go home. Maybe we should watch Josh. Because nobody's really here anymore. Did I get any tips from it? I'm going to watch his performance. I do not want to chat with Ed. I will literally fucking commit seppuku. Unless that's in any way offensive to any kind of other culture. Otherwise, I'll be committing seppuku imminently. 
if I have to speak to Ed for any longer. Oh my god, I'm getting tips! Holy shit! Oh my god, the, that woman just gave me like 202! Holy fuck! That was insane! Maybe if I watch, it'll kind of be like, oh look, there's, there's a performance going on over there. Oh, this is pretty cool. Look guys, look at this performer. Isn't he cool? Maybe we should get him signed to something. I don't know him. I've never met him before. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, well Cody's gonna have to go back home because he's fucking dying slowly. Um, let's go use the bathroom and stuff back at, back at the house. Finally, <laughs> finally. Declan is fucking mid-death. Oh my god, he's fucking fainted through the wall. That's it. <laughs> oh my god, he's just a heap by the door. Oh, there's another man out there that's also fallen over. Oh, <laughs> don't come over here, don't come over here. Oh no, has he noticed? <laughs> Fucking Josh hasn't noticed. What do we do? Do we do we have to wait for the Grim Reaper? What do we do now that he's Hold up because it says it said it in here He's dying from starvation. How do we can we expand that? No, I don't know. I don't know Shit I don't know, like, what we're meant to do. I guess we just wait for the Grim Reaper. <laughs> oh. oh! 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 The Grim Reaper didn't even arrive! <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, that was so weird. Um... Archie can plead the benevolent, overworldly spirits to allow Declan to stick around, so Declan can become a ghost. Um, oh, everyone's a little bit upset about it. Uh, I guess we better put him, like, in the inventory. So we're gonna move house. <laughs> this is so fucking stupid. Release spirit to Neverworld. I kind of want to just do that. Oh, I'm doing it as Archie, I didn't realise. Chill out, man. Someone's just died. Someone's embarrassed. Oh. He tried to flirt with that sim. Let's release the spirit and see what happens. Releasing Declan's soul to the Neverworld will forever free his spirit from the mortal realm. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes. Be free, Declan. Goodbye! Thank you for your five grand, it is helping us move. <laughs> oh my god, we can destroy it. No, we want to put it in the inventory. We've got to put it in the inventory. This is like, this is, this is a highlight of the series. Okay. Now we're gonna move house. Uh, also, Cody got fucking accepted into university, motherfuckers. Which means, as soon as he gets home, we're gonna enroll. Um... I don't know if- maybe we should enrol before we move, because I don't know if it's gonna ask him to go straight away or give us like a date. If it gives us like a date, like, oh he'll move on, I don't know, are there dates on here? Like maybe it'll pop up and say like, this will be the day that he enrols, for example, um, or something like that. Or maybe it'll ask us if we want to move into like a dorm room already. So I can get that set up and then come back over and like move these guys as well or something. I don't know. I, I kind of want to wait until he's back though. What is... What is going on? Why is... Josh has just left the flat to... Go and speak with some sort of luchador... Lucha Libre wrestler. What? Why? For what? Who? What's going on? <laughs> Everyone's upset. In loving memory, we've released the spirit. <laughs> They're gonna mourn him for about two hours. Good god, it took like four days for him to die. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Four fucking days. 
that was absolutely daft. Oh, my walls are glitching out. Something was happening with the walls then as Josh was moving. Okay, how long until Cody gets back? Work until four, so we've only got another hour. We'll just speed it up and get him back here so that he can enroll as soon as he gets home. Um, so if we go on to here, he got the acceptance letter. Oh, so we're going to have to wait. What is this? I think, hmm, oh I don't know actually. Shit, I don't know what like any of those means because I don't, I'm not American, I don't know what a scholarship is. <laughs> so I don't know where that stands. Oh Cody, you're late, come home. Boom. Okay, work starts for Josh as well. How are we doing on the money side? We're doing okay. He earned 308 today, well done. Um, that's a shame, because he was like the main money maker and now he's going off to uni and everything's going to be put on pause. So, go over here and roll. Maybe it will ask me to pick a scholarship when I enroll. I've got the acceptance letter, so I know that Cody can go. Oh, he's very upset about Declan. Them having to deal with Declan's corpse. We love to see it, apparently. Okay, so we've got two different options here. Um, so, with nearly a millennium of history and tradition, the University of Brightchester boasts being the oldest university still teaching today. Originally built as a private academy for vacational royal families, it has kept many of the original building details that Princess Cordelia helped design in her years there, along with a collection of her diaries about staying at the nearby castle. Nowadays, the university aims to fulfil its mission, moulding students into well-rounded, upstanding sims. Student organisations. Brightchester uh, Spirit Corp. Corp. Corps? Corp. Uh, Art Society and the Debate Guild. Foxbury Institute. The newer of the two universities in Brightchester, the, uh, the Foxbury Institute was established only half a century ago with the help of a generous land grab endowment. Uh, but already has established itself as a premier place of higher learning, with its striking modern campus, impressive labs and facilities, and litany of alumni who have gone on to storied careers and innovation, the Institute sets out to inspire future generations while teaching students to aim high and dream big. And then we've got the Foxbury Spirit Squad, the Brainiacs, and the Bot Savants. So it looks like Brightchester's going to be better for me, uh, which is the one that we've already got picked. Oh, so look at the top! So it says select the university and then you can pick the degree and the housing selection and the tuition. So we're going with Brightchester for the art. We don't want to go culinary arts. So there's fine art. I don't know. Is there any other art? No. I guess we're going with fine art. Uh, your skim skills are not sufficient to be accepted here. So we can only go into certain things. So we're only taking one. Number of core classes, just one. Do we want to take two, or would that be too much? I kind of feel like that might be too much. Yeah, we're, go we're gonna just go with art. Maybe? <laughs> oh god, he's got a complete 12 classes to graduate! Oh my days! What is this? So, we're gonna have to pick more than one, aren't we? Um, I guess we're gonna have to go with, like, two core classes. Oh my god, so they, like, they break down into different... Do they break down into different things? I'm very confused. I guess we're gonna have to go into, like... Oh god, um... Writing fiction, sure. I'm very confused by this, and I'm not sure if, like, I've got to... Due to the University of Practice's prestige in this area of study, this distinguished degree allows for entering a high level with a large signing bonus, while greatly increasing daily paid job performance and vacation days on the following careers. Oh, so if I was to become a freelance artist, which might be something that we do further after Cody Max is out in that career, we will get better pay by getting this fine art degree. Um, to complete a degree, a sim must pass 12 total courses. 
Sims may enrol in up to four courses per term, with one being an optional elective course. Core courses help students build the necessary skills for careers in their field, while elective offers a chance to learn from a wide variety of skills. Okay, I don't care about the skills one. I thought this was like, I don't care about the elective one. I guess we're going to have to go with a four. Oh, okay. So depending on how many we pick depends on how long we're there. I think we can do the four. I reckon we could do four. Oh, okay, so the elective also does count to the degree completion. I just don't feel like he needs to learn any other skills at the moment. Um, okay, we're going to go with this. We're going to go with the four classes, which I feel like is going to be a lot. And he's going to be there for three terms. But it's going to be a good look into the university DLC and we'll see how it goes. So, uh, then we've got this. So there's like different university housing. Sims choosing to live off campus will move out of their current house and into another, allowing them to move in with other households or buy a new home. So that's just like moving house entirely. Um, then there's student housing. So <laughs> ironically, this is one that I'm actually doing a renovation video for <laughs> because I don't like its default. Then there's this. So number of beds, 10. This is like a dorm room. And then the bottom one is another hall. So there's two halls and a, a separate house. It looks like we know people that go there. And there's no gender restrictions for either of them. No affiliation restrictions. Okay, I think we're going to go into the university housing. We might as well go into the slightly cheaper one if it's not going to make a difference. So we're doing... Oh my days, it's going to cost me a grand. That's fine. So... Okay. Pay with household funds. <laughs> yeah, we might as well just pay for it. Like, why would we... Why would we need a loan for a grand? I mean, we've just killed Declan for 5k. Let's just go for it, I guess. Let's see what happens. So he's going to move out of the household, but we should still stay in a relationship. Uh, I guess we need to... Can Archie go with him? <laughs> No. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> it was worth a shot. Um, maybe I need to give him some money. Shall we give him like 10k? I feel like we should give him 10k if we're splitting the household temporarily. And then anything I sort of come back with. Like 10k is quite a lot. Like that's that's quite a bit. So... I guess we'll see what happens.